Hello everyone. This is a continuation of the previous video. We are still in the same case study where we are taking the examples of division wise, head count, salary, average salary, etc. Now previous video we ended at a point where we were able to get out a report which said division wise rating analysis in terms of percentage and we were able to analyze this based on every strategic business unit considering AD to be a separate unit. Now let me check off all the points. Let me make it back to an empty shell report because the next one is very very interesting. The next technique will be based on MIS report 4 which will show you division wise, age group wise, what is the head count for the entire organization. So if I want to have a quick overview how senior, how junior, how middle aged is my organization workforce, I can prepare this report. Not just that, I will also be talking about how do you pool, how do you separate people, these workers in separate pools of salary and based on the rating, you can perhaps analyze the training requirements of people. For example, amongst the highest salary receivers and the people who are getting not so good rating, they may, may perhaps be nominated for a performance improvement training. So there you go. How do you group them in terms of salary pools? Now this is not ending here because you can also group these based on year and month of joining. So for example, in the year 1966, in the month of November, two people joined the division AD and uh, one in RAD, totaling up to three. So these three different reports are based on the same technique which I'll be discussing right now. So let me come back to my PMT shell report. What I'm going to do is start with the division wise, age group wise. MIS report. So let me put division in the row fields as we generally used to do. Now if I put age, now age being a number, if I put that in the main action area, you'll notice I get the total of everyone's age. But of course, I don't want that report. I would want to put the age in the column fields out here so that the entire list of possible combinations come up. Now, of course, this is not going to be generating a meaningful report. What I need to do right now is right click on the heading age because once I do that, I will get an option which says group. Once this is group, let's see what, what options that do we get from this grouping. If I look closely, it says the minimum age starting at 25, the maximum 57. And how would you want to group it in terms of 10 interval? Let's say 25 to 34, 35 to 44 and so on. Okay. So now you notice division wise, age group wise analysis. Now if you wanted an interval of 5, you could have changed that. Right click on the age group, certainly group. And if I change the interval to let's say 5, let's look at the report. Wonderful. So I ha now have the age grouping in terms of 5 interval, 25 to 29, 30 to 34 and so on. All I need is fill in the action area with the head count for which let me pick up the name and put that in the main action area. And as soon as I put that in, mm -hmm, 417 employee, that's the total workforce. And how are they distributed across various divisions, across various age groups? If I want to have a much more concise report, I may want to reduce the interval. So let me once again right click on age group. Let me keep the interval at 10. Okay. So 417 employees and this is how they look and of course if you want to change them in terms of percentage let's say as a percentage of the total workforce how many people are belonging to division uh, how many people are belonging to the young age group so what I may do is right click on count of name I could go to value field settings alternatively I can double click on count of name because that is going to yield me the same thing value field settings. Now, based on the previous videos learning, we know if we go into the second tab, show values as, and if you want to show the values as not normal, but maybe as a percentage of column. Now, why would I do that? If I do percentage of column, you can see the analysis from the point of view of age grouping wise. So 100%, if I consider all the people within the age group of 25 to 34 to be 100%, how are they placed across various divisions? If I do a similar analysis, but in that case, if I do 
percentage of row let's get to see what the result comes out to be double click on the count of name show values as try with percentage of row so now each unit considered as a separate business unit and within which how are they being placed perhaps if i do a percentage of total the picture would be completely different the percentage of total mm -hmm. okay so now 100% is the workforce almost 30% of them belong to the young age group and almost 9% in the senior age category so you may try different combination the results going to, going to be very helpful so this was the first application of grouping let me do one thing let me check off all the items once again and let me show you how you can use the grouping to your benefit so let me put division mm -hmm. now if I put salary in the column fields it is going to show me individual salary so let me do one thing let me put salary in the row fields and the division in the column fields or maybe I'll put division later let me first start with salary now this is going to be a very long list based on individual salary so what I want to do for my convenience is right click on salary group them now I want to the group to look like 0 to hundred thousand dollars hundred to two hundred thousand dollars hence let me change the starting to zero and let me keep the interval to be hundred thousand dollars okay all right so what I get is pools of salary now if I put the rating in place of column fields I get the 2 by 2 grid now if I put the name list in the main action area this will automatically give me count of name which means head count so as a training analyst I would perhaps look at these set of people to be precise this set of people who are getting lower rating and probably earning higher salary category so they perhaps need a performance improvement training mm -hmm. now if I want to send this report to every divisions unit CEO I may want to put the division in the page fields which will give me an additional filter so now if I choose division AD from the page fields the report generated will be only talking about the people from the division AD similarly if I put RDD okay so there are only six people in division RDD and this is how it looks so this one person probably need a one-to-one -one session and how it, he may improve the performance and if I want to know the name of this person let me double click as we noticed earlier in a new sheet the details of that particular person is now shown to you so once I note the name let me go back to the pivot table let me clear the list and say let me give an summarized report for all the units so we can group numbers if you're talking about ratings if you're talking about salary if you're talking about age in fact learning from the previous video we also saw even date is a number so now if I check off all the items and I put the date of joining in row fields of course I'm going to get individual date of joinings but this is not my motive my motive is to group them as per year and months now let's see how do I do that I right click on DOJ I reach out to group now notice very carefully this time the interface is much more elaborate than the previous two cases this time I am given the option to choose between months and years in fact more options exist for now only these two will do so if I press OK you'll notice years and months wise grouping now this kind of grouping is very very useful when we talk about date wise transactions be it purchase be it sales be it date of joining be it date of any transaction any accounting entry so now if I may put the division in the column fields which will give me the division names and the magical part is if I put the name in the main action area as you have seen since name is text it will give me count of name and quite clearly year wise month wise people joining different division if I scroll to the bottom of this report you will notice there are still the same set of number 417 employees wonderful 
सो ट्राई ग्रुपिंग विथ वेरियस नंबर्स बीट एज रेटिंग ट्रांजेक्शन अमाउंट सैलरी अमाउंट यूल गेट टू सी सो मनी यूजफुल रिपोर्ट्स लेट मी चेक ऑफ ऑल द आइटम्स बिकॉज बिफोर वी टेक द नेक्स्ट केस स्टडी ऑन पेपर टेबल वन क्विक सिनारियो विच इज नॉट एग्जैक्टली अ ड्रॉबैक ऑफ पेपर टेबल बट ये समथिंग दैट यू नीड टू बी अवेयर ऑफ दैट इज लेट से इफ देर वॉज डिविजन एंड देर वन नंबर ऑफ पीपल against each division now let's say ad division has 41 people and in my main data at a future point in time somebody has taken a shift from hfd to ad of course now the head count should increase increase for division ad which doesn't happen why because you need to refresh it manually you need to right click on any part of the report and say refresh As soon as you do that, you'll notice there's an increase in the head count in the division AD. Perfect. So that is one quick thing that you need to be aware of. Additionally, it might also happen that after a certain point in time, there was a new set of employee who joined in. For example, 21st September 2012, I may be joining the organization in the division RAD. Oops, let me write the salary. Mm-hmm. R A D, rating one. Let's say age twenty-eight. Now, once I do that, of course, pivot table will not be able to reflect this change. Why? Because the source that we had selected ended here. So let me do one thing. Let me go back to pivot table. As soon as I do that, if I go to options, within options, there's something called change data source. Now, if I do that change data source, it will re-ask me whether the data chosen is correct. So, if I just notice there was the four twenty third row which I had added, so I may just add that one row extra four twenty three. Press OK. And if I now refresh, in fact, it has already taken place. As soon as I have shown Excel the revised data source, four one eight employees. So this is the quick brush up of pivot table. from various scenarios if i go to the various reports that we generated let me start with the one that we ended up with that was year wise month wise people joining in different division we also talked about salary how do we pool them in different categories of salary and how can we analyze this against the backdrop of rating we can also see how is a how is my organization placed in terms of age groups across various divisions rating wise division analysis i can perhaps also make them displayed in percentage form for better analysis and of course i can draw the same category let's say salary in the main action area three times so that i can change one to sum one to average and another to count so this was one case study on pivot table all talking about people employees data set we'll take more case studies on the similar topic why because this is a very very important topics probably you'll be using it very very often after you have seen and understood the full power of pivot table so see you in the next video